I don't like that I was tempted by this hand for a second. I'm not keeping it. <laughs> but I'm disappointed in myself that I almost decided to keep it. All you really need are, are lands, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I had a chance or in one other land, but they were wrong colors. Mm hmm. change my appear my can you change your name on here somehow I, there was a way oh there we go All right, are you ready profile uh yeah. let me get drop on you seven I'm ready all right I'll draw well shit Play uh, Temple of Enlightenment and I'll scry one. Hmm. Don't know about him. Uh, pass. Okay. I will. Let's see. Let's use the space bar thing. I will draw a card. And I'm just going to put down a forest and also pass. Now let's see if this new hand's gonna trick better. Here we go. Okay. Do I go to six, right? Yeah. After you, you've already right. done one free mulligan. Uh, yeah. Wait, no, yeah. hold on. It's one of them. Oh, I or need, wait, no. Yeah, go draw seven and then put. And I need to put one at the bottom, right? On the, at the bottom, yes. Let's see. Uh, God, I almost forgot about that. I think this one needs to go away. Okay. Now it's good. I draw. All right. Uh, well, there's the card to draw. I'll play Prismatic Vis. Oh, she's in command zone. Prismatic Vista, I'll go search for planes. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> and I lose one life to do that. It's your turn, Luke. Untap. Okay, draw. I'll play a breeding pool tapped. And pass. Okay. Um, let's see. I will draw my card for turn. And okay, this is gonna be a little weird. So I'm gonna all about it. I'm gonna float a for ma the mana from my forest, mm -hmm. and then I'll play this Darius's Caldera. This is kind of an obscure land type, but basically it's a bounce land that doesn't enter tapped. So okay. when it enters. Um, it'll bounce this forest back to my hand, and then I can tap it to play a Boros Signet. Two, three, Seems four, good. Five, six. Yep. And so I'll pass the turn. Cut. Shuffle and draw. Okay. I will play a Steam Vents. Not shocking myself. Go. Alright. Hmm. Draw. I will play a Glacial Fortress and go. Passing? Yeah. Okay. I'll untap. 
and then I'll draw for turn. I'm going to play a command tower as my land for turn. And um, let's see, I have access to three mana. Um, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven cards in hand, so I'm going to. I'm going to do something. No. I am going to <laughs> not do what I was thinking about. Alright, I'll pay three. And I'll put um, Giganta in my hand. Mm -hmm. And then I have to discard a card. So I will be... Is discard or exile? Um... Well, it just you just put a card in your hand. You put the thing in your hand, but then I'm going to my my end step with eight cards in hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. That was one of the ones people were thinking of, but that wasn't what they said. Yeah. No, confusing that. Um. I'll um. Put this mount. I'll discard this mountain, and that's my turn. Right. Tap. Draw. Okay. I will play a Morphic Pool. I have two or more opponents. So it's untapped. Sweet. And then uh, pay three, casting Sisse. And pass. I'll draw. I will play a. Land Harbor and I'll uh, well I guess I'll just pass okay interesting suspicious <laughs> I'll untap and draw a card and I'm going to play a snow-covered plains. Okay. And I'm tempted to do something that, that is going to up the, the fun level of the game, but not necessarily right. like my, my advantage. I think I can do it this turn. So there's one, two, three, four. I wouldn't be able to. Hmm. Hmm. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna risk it for the biscuit here, and I'll just I'll cast Giganta. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, then I'll just pass the turn, as long as that resolves. <laughs> Carter is not picking up. There he is. He got him. Wait, isn't he five man? Oh, am I miscounting something? Uh, Let's maybe see. I miscounted. No, you're right. It is five man. What am I thinking? Sorry. Um, in that case, um, I'm gonna cast a blue spell instead. I'll cast Flux. So, each player chooses and discards any number of cards, then draws that many cards. And I draw okay. a card. So, I will discard. I'm going to keep Gigantha. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discard um, four cards, I think. I'm going to draw five cards. I th Two, think I will three, four, five. discard... Three. I'm discarding a Bells and Lock, a Teo, and a Whisper. Okay. I'm going to. And so, just I just draw three new ones. Yeah. I'll discard Celestial Ancient, a Plains, 
and an island. Okay. And that's it. Okay. And did I play a land this turn? I don't think I did. So we, so we, however many we discard, we draw that many. Yeah. Uh, oh. Didn't you play the the snow covered this the snow covered uh, this turn? This right here. Okay. Yeah. One, yeah, because you just now got four. Two. I just got confused by. Um... All right, and then I will I will pass. All right. Yeah. So untapping, drawing for turn. Hmm. Okay. Okay, what I think I'm going to do, first I'm going to pay three. I am casting a Scuttle Mutt. It's a mana dork for any color, and he can make any any target creature any any colors I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Then my land for turn is the Demir Aqueduct. I'll bounce the Morphic Pool. I mean, you, you have, have Untut. Trevor, you have a compliment from my Twitch chat about your play mat it is super ah, cute thank you yes hopefully i can get the other three signatures on here it it was it was a fun one i thought uh Sisse is swinging at a uh, leprechaun uh for how many uh she's just a two two right now uh, i take 38 i hit the wrong button and pass um okay uh we'll draw does your child have a particular favorite up for? Huh? Uh, asking uh, John. Huh. Sorry, what? Does your chat have a particular favorite of the four? I don't. I don't know. They haven't said anything. What? What anime mm -hmm. or is that from? Uh, it's it's uh, right from Ruby. Ruby. Uh, that's what I thought. It, it might be Ruby. I have not seen Ruby. Outfits. It's a good show. I recommend it. I was a big fan of the the original animator for that. Monty, um, yes, Monty yeah, before he fantasy. passed away. Yeah, his um, yeah, the machinima stuff that he did was really good. Yeah, the Haloid Haloid animation was insane. It's a real shame, real loss to the animation industry, if you ask me. Yeah, he. Yeah, he was a real pioneer of a lot. Mm. Um, he was unstoppable too. Like how how much he worked towards it. Yeah. And then I will um five. Oh, I guess I'll cast two lane. Yep. And I'll pass. Seems like a plan. Okay, you caught me messing with shit on my desk. Um, yeah. Hang on. All right. One little kid to attack. I, my reading glasses, like the screw started coming out. I'm trying to fix it with my fingernail. Uh, oh. Tap and draw a card. Um, and I'll play a forest as my land for turn. Okay. Um, So let's move that over here so it's not confusing. All right. Let's pay uh, two for um, Lightning Greaves. Mm -hmm. Yep. And. I'll pay a blue and a green for a time stream navigator. Mm. Um, I may as well put that on the time stream yeah. just because she's there. And then I will pass. Yeah. So you have to ascend and then it's four. Okay. Yeah. I untap and draw. Oh. Okay. Um. And this is a bit weird, but I'll pay 
uh, white, red, blue, and one other. I play a Jota. Oh, snap. What? I play a Godless Shrine, and there's tapped. I'm not going to shock myself for that. Uh, Sisse is up to being a 5-5, five because five, Jota's three colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sisse swings five towards loot again. Sure. Oh. And that will be that. How many was it? Five? Yes. Alright. Oh, untap. Yeah. And these are all commander hits. And draw. Uh, play prismatic best uh oh, I'll crack it. Nice. of autumn. Nice. Um, I... Oh, you just have a Greaves. What is this thing? Time Stream Navigator puts itself on the bottom of the library and gives you an extra turn. Ah, oh, I see, I see. And the um, Greaves are there. Oh, wow. And I put um Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll hit the graves, I guess. Oh um, man. Oh Okay. Um oh yeah, I cast so I draw. I can put a land into play. So you're destroying the graves? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll put in this temple of plenty, I'll spray one. It can stay on top. And then oh, I wish that was a land. Uh, well, that's okay. I will play a. Oh, that's not what I want to play. Oh, I don't have enough mana for that. Will it matter? Sorry. Uh, no problem. Um, oh, that's... I don't have a choice for that one. I guess I'll just play... I'll just... That, that's fine. Um... I'll I'll attack uh uh is it John? Yeah. I'll attack John, I'll I'll attack you for two. I'll take two. Okay. Um and I'll just pass. Okay. I will untap and draw. Pretend not to be really heartbroken at the loss of my uh um lightning greaves. Hey, I play cards in here that give everybody things back. <laughs> oh. Um, let's see. I might be able to do something cool, though. How many cards <sighs> in my graveyard? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there. And... Um, 
I'll leave that in there just in case. All right, now I need to do that. Okay, I'm gonna exile. I'm gonna delve treasure cruise. So okay. exile these six cards from my graveyard and pay a, a blue to Seems draw good. three cards. One, nice. two, three. Now is the time to do it. Oh hell yeah. Um all right, as my land for turn, I'll play this Cascading Cataracts. And I will let's see. I'm going to pay two for Swiftfoot Boots. <laughs> and <laughs> that's why I got excited. <laughs> I was like, yes! Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to cast um, Rampant Growth. Rampant for a, Growth. Actually, what I should do is is because it's an equip cost of one is just tap all three and use one of the from this to equip that so two left to cast rampant growth and get get a land yes one land basic land and that's my turn all right not ascended yet close untap and draw so the great miss way oh my god <laughs> anyway i the one thing I should have done last turn, but I thought I didn't have a source of green mana, completely forgetting the whole point of Scuttlemutt. But, we're past that now, I guess. Uh, oh, oops. Replay Morphic Pool. Scuttlemutt for green, and red, and. Sure. To play Domri and Arc of Bolas. Okay. I think I have dice now. My uh, basic land is going to be an island, by the way. Mm -hmm. Alright. There we go, got it. Nice. Start at three. I'm. Whoops. Let's see. What? One, two, three. Where are my dispels? In? Yeah, I don't care for me on this turn, so. I will minus two him. And. I'm gonna have Sisse, who is a. a 6 6 at this point, fight Chilean. Uh oh. Bounce Chilean back to my hand. And then, uh, next, any of the boots, so, uh, Sisse, who, she's 7-6, because Domri Plus is the power by one, so 7-6 towards John. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Sisse just okay. gets mean. It's a five-color aggro deck, we're doomed. I mean, right, that's what the deck does until it starts losing. I will. Um, Bit of turtles. I'll take seven this time. I've got enough health right now. All right. Uh, second main. Is that commander? Yes. Oops. There we go. There's one, two. Now I need red and green, right. So, with that in mind, now let's see if she's, she survives. Pay three. And I will play a Rona, Disciple of Gix. She enters the battlefield, and I'm going to exile a target historic card. Delos and Locke is going to be an exile from Rona's trick. And pass. Oh, you have loot. Oh, 
啊。You guys there? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Is it my it's your turn? turn? Yep. Okay. I will draw. I will for uh, double white and a green and a blue. I'll cast a uh, Archon of Sun's Grace. Okay. Ooh, a nice borderless. And, uh... I will then... play... a... I'll play a Reflector Mage. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll bounce the Sisse. She's in hand and will not be cast next turn. And then I'll sit. Dang it. My reading glasses um. broke. Oh. Dang. Uh, did you pass? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You gotta press no, the fine. space bar or the, the arrow. What the hell? Uh, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yellow focus. Alright, so I'll untap. Draw my card for turn. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna... Um, let's see... Pay, um, five, so green, one, two, three, uh, we want to do it this way, so one, two, three, four, and that's, that's five right there, counting the yep. thing, and I'll cast, um, Giganta. There he is. And I'll pay one. I believe it's pay one to equip. Yeah. Yes, to equip Swift Fit Boots to Giganta. And then I will tap it for Wooberg. And do I have? You have the city's blessing. Yes. City's blessing. Yeah. So I can activate. Time stream navigator and put it on the bottom and take an extra turn. Yep. And so I'll take an extra turn. I'll use this for the extra blue on that. So, and we'll leave, I think that leaves um, two mana floating because it's a, it's two blue, two, no, two colorless and a blue, and two blue. Oh, wait, let me double check because I'm not chance I thought. Uh, the the Wooberg that he gives can't be used on generic mana cost, so he can't pay for the two part. Uh, hmm. Can I can I even do that then? I don't think so. All right, we'll we'll use it instead to um, cast my commander. Yeah. So I'll use um, three, and then yeah, you and got then it. the one from that, and then that leaves one untapped. One. One floating, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think you, can, you, two you have the one. I have two floating. I just want to cast it. Um, yeah. A uh, hmm, probably birds of paradise. Off of yep. the the two that are left over, and the other will just fall away. All right, almost got there. Pass turn. Gigantus okay. hard to play around. It, it really he is. is. But when he works, he does a lot. Yeah. I untap and draw. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I almost kind of like it better having the pay three thing. And it keeps you from popping off as quickly, but... Yeah. Yeah, the first game, I have, uh, I have 
uh, sampling of Colfinor, my companion is a Mori. And, uh, I've, the first game I ever played on, like, webcam in one of the Play ADH channels, uh, was, um, oh, uh, someone said that my deck would be too strong, and I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> I guess technically it is a discount. I'll pay Wooberg, so blue, black, red, white, and this will be a green, uh, Darmory will be my green source. Uh, to cast Bells and Walk from Exile using Rona's ability. Okay. So when he enters the battlefield, he's a 6 6 flying trample. Enters the battlefield, exiled cards from the top until I hit a non land. So that's going to be exiled. Exiled. Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Goes into my hand. Nice. It costs four more, so I do that again. Vanifar. Oath of Teferi. Vivouac. And the Elder Spell. And that's where it stops. So I got four cards off that. I take four. One, two, three, four. And... Alright, so he's here now. These are all exiled for good. Uh, so what else can I do then? Three mana... Now. I can't place this a bag out, so I guess what I'll do. I will play an island, and this will be my green source. For green, blue, two other, and play Vanifar. Let's see. Your Jota's in the air. And you have a book, where's Paradise? There's an Archon there. Uh, my Jota will attack you, John. I will. Please make sure five. Um, I'll take it. I'll take five. Alright. And that is what I do. My turn? Yes. Oh. I'm gonna pull up my deck list to remind myself. Okay, draw. Did you, wait, did you send Joda and Sisei at me, or just Joda? I'm confused. Just Joda. Sisei's in my hand. I, I can't okay. cast her this turn. Okay. Yeah, Sisei would hit a lot harder. Um. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> um. enough to do the Jota thing twice, I think. Um, I'm going to play, so for three, I'll play a Grasp of Fate. Ooh, good one. Um, get a Pegasus. Um, I'm gonna hit uh, the Vanifar and uh, your time stream navigator, John. Great. Seems fair. And there, if Graphis Fate somehow goes away, Vanifar will be here. Yep. Um. And then I will I will play a Cloudstone Curio. Okay. 
Um, and I will... Oh, can I attack? I have a 6-6 six, six in the air. Gross. <laughs> uh, he, has, uh, he has his commander in the air and the birds. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. I'll see. I'll untap. Go down here. Having so many of like the same or different lands, yeah, it's hard to like arrange them in a way that makes sense. Um, and the signet over here. All right, I'll draw my land for turn. Um, play a grasslands is my land. Uh, and then I'm going to pay, let's see, white, blue, black, uh, red, and green for yep. um, Sunbird's Invocation. Ooh, okay. And then... Oh, I just realized I should have done that the other way. Um, well, no, never mind. It works. Um, I'll tap Gigantha for Wooberg to cast Ulamog. Oh, hi! Yeah, so that will trigger 11 cards from Sunbird's Invocation. Destroy, Five, sorry. Six. Yeah, and I do need to do that too. So so that's seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Um, there's like nothing in there. I need exile. I don't know if I can. Well, I can cast one card. It kind of sucks to not get like. Another. I did get a. I got another artisan of Kozlak, but there's nothing in the graveyard, really, yeah. that I can animate with it, so I don't care as much. Simprotter might be fun. Um. I'm gonna go the not greedy route, or like the more, because I know I just I just know I should do this. I'm gonna take this diplomatic immunity, and cast it on Joda. Okay. And then these go on the bottom in a random order. And then when the trigger for um, Ulamog is a destroy target permanent. Hmm. I'm, I'm just thinking about what I want to destroy, sorry. What is the biggest boo boo over here? I'm I'm almost tempted to to get um, that planeswalker. I think it's Domri at two. Planeswalkers, man. I know it's at two, but like I said, I'm tempted. I don't know if I'm too for the Archon. I don't like token generation on uh, my team. Uh, that's, that's a good point. He has the curio, so he can... Oh, he can get reflector. Ooh. Ooh. He can do a lot. He can do a lot. That's what I was looking at. Is, uh... I can't get my card reader to look at the Archon for some reason, but... It's a flying lifelink 3-4 Pegasus's. I control have lifelink constellation, so... This constellation is a little different whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under my control. Uh, I get a two-two Pegasus token well, with flying. Let's 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 take out the uh, the 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 curio. Sure. I think is what I want to get rid of. It's a it's definitely a good target. 
yeah, lots, lots of shenanigans there. I've, I've, I, so I bought this thinking it just bounced creatures. It oh, bounces, yeah. yeah, it's way better than I thought it was. It does a lot. It does a yeah, lot. I've found out since. Okay, and also I will pay a green with the Birds of Paradise and tap this for a colorless to cast Explore so I can play an extra land, um, which I think enters... Yeah, enters tap. Yeah, it's one of the horns. Yep. All right. Cool. And um, that's my turn. Okay. Whew. I untap. I thought about moving the Swiftfoot boots, but I, I just decided not to. <laughs> tap and draw. Oh. Well, okay. All right, so Jonah has Shroud and Gigantha has Hexroof. So yes. That's great. Huh. Let's see here. I put some good cards on the bottom of the library, I'm just saying. Just to get that yeah. diplomatic immunity. That seems worth it. I think I'll start with Pain, uh, White Black, and Other. I'll play Profane Procession. So I can pay 5 to exile a creature. If I've done that three times, it flips. This is the only one that had Annihilator, isn't it? It is, so... Yep. Yeah, I think... No, actually. No, I can hang out for a second. I just put him there to have a blocker. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. oh, Bill's mock Joe doesn't really help right now. Because all my stuff is already five. Or less. Oh, I should have destroyed the thing that has my my time stream navigator exiled. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> the thing is, that it has to land there, and then it's still around for a turn. Yeah. And that's if you want me to have Vanifar back on my right. upkeep. Yeah, yeah, I don't necessarily want that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I play an overgrown tomb, not gonna shock myself for it. Scratch And another target set. I'll just plus Domri, let the mana go away. That's me being stupid not using that for the what for the enchantment. But that's past it, and You know what? Ulamog doesn't fly. My Jota swings at you again, John. Um, he's a five-three. He's a he's a five-three. Yeah, because Domri gives the plus to the mm -hmm. team. Okay, I will take another five. Although I don't right. like it, I don't like it, but I'll take it. Yeah, makes sense. Don't blame me for that. And pass. All righty. Unless you're a creature, you should be messing around with it at this point. Um, I will draw. Uh, let's see here. Um. I guess I... I will, um... Could be silly and do this. Um, three mana. I'll cast. Uh, I I wonder if this works this way. Uh, detention sphere. Okay. Uh, targeting dragons, Joda. Uh, 
I believe so. Let me... uh... Yeah, it only targets mine, and then it hits all of them, I guess. How does it? Let me read the card. It tar he's targeting my Jota, and then it, and then after it's the target squared, it exiles all others with the same name as well. Oh. The same. Oh man, that's rough. That's, <laughs> that was a good. <laughs> that's did you, that's did you have really that lucky top deck, man. That's okay. So Jota's exiled. Yeah, mine, mine's stuck in exile. Do you want to put yours in command zone? Oh, I don't have the choice. Absolutely, it's going in the command zone. Yep. Um, so if you're willing to sacrifice an artifact uh, enchantment so I can have my Jota back, I'd appreciate it. Alright. Another stuff exiled by something. Oh, yeah, I got another Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Um. I will then cast a far seek, and I'm gonna get for I don't know something. Uh, Plains or Island, right? Uh, Plains, Plains, Island, Swamp, Mountain. Anything that's not a forest. Anything that's not a forest. Likes to make friends. <laughs> Is there any, like, fun, funny land I got that's a plane? Uh... Sure, I'll get a temple garden. And, uh... uh wait, temple garden is a forest. It's also a plains. Oh, it doesn't say just non-forest. Right, that's a good point, <laughs> never mind. Um, that is, uh, can I attack? <laughs> I still got a giant flyer. Oh no. I mean, he doesn't have his anymore. Uh, no, but he also had a higher life total. Uh, well, I can at least attack Domri with, uh, two... Two twos with flying and life flank. Uh, okay. Bells and Lock gets in the way of one. Yeah, so I'll gain two. And Domri's back down to one. They gain four, because they're both hit fighting. Yeah. That is right. Uh, that's it for me. Okay. I will untap. And here we go. Uh, let's see what we draw off the top of our library. Because we put a lot into that last hand. Um, so draw a card. And that's not a bad top deck. Um, hi. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, so fair, he's got an advisor. Yeah, okay, come here, come here. Suddenly, Missile Terror comes out of the mist. Okay, sorry, you guys can see my hand. Um, uh -huh. to untap that. Attention. Whoops. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Um, you playing cards? I'm playing cards. Alright, so okay. I'm gonna cast... I'm gonna cast a... Hey, hey, I can not talk to the cards right here. I'm going to touch a Cosmo. Uh-huh. I'm going to cast Joda. <laughs> Stop. Uh, from... six. Yeah, but that doesn't trigger uh, Sunbird's invocation, because Sunbird cares about the hand. Um, yeah. So I'll pay a... Let's see, a white, a blue. Here's a red... And a color list from this Cascading Cataracts thing. And then, uh, damn it. Yep. Uh, two more here. So that's six for Joda. And 
then I'm going to pay Wooberg with this. It's not as awesome as you guys thought it might be. I'm going to cast Yidris Maelstrom Wielder. Ooh, fun. Um, so that'll trigger Sunbird's Invocation. I'll reveal four. Off the top. Mm. Okay. okay. Go on. I'm glad to see the power go away. Yeah, I wish I could cast that. Um, but... And he just has to do common damage for him to trigger, right? Um, well, it needs to... The, uh, the Annihilator on Ulamog Yidris. just happens. Yidris needs to do combat damage, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take... Um, we'll take the Faber Elder, which has a plus one plus one counter for each color. And I think that there's all five colors here. Uh, this this yes. is four, and then there's something here needs to have uh, white, white, which Joda, which Joda. does. Yeah. yeah. Um, or sorry, it doesn't get plus one counters, it just has plus one. So, do that. And then I'll play a Rith's Grove as my land for turn, bouncing back okay. um, a, a forest, I guess. Um, and then I'll tap this and get a forest or a plains card. I guess I'll do that at the end of my turn. Go find your mama. Go find your mama. Use it for mana. We'll assume you use it. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Um, no, I'm just gonna go to combat. I need to attack. All right. Somebody. So before you move to combat. Yep. I offer you the option: attack, loot, and I'm not gonna use my ability to exile Umog. Okay. Um, loot, what do you think about that? Do you have a better deal? Um, no, I don't really have much to bargain with. Um, I can also counter offer that I won't exile your Ulamog either. <laughs> I don't know. With what though? That's <laughs> this is an interesting predicament. Uh, I'm not happy with either of you right now. <laughs> I would honestly. I mean, you can either take his offer and attack me, which it's fine. I can't really make much, too much of a counter offer. I mean, I'm not going to be attacking for quite a while, but uh, um. I don't know. I ha I do have more permanents that are of value compared to Sisay right now. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm I mean, gonna swing not the, to piss the, Ulamog the, other at, cards. the swing the Ulamog at Lupercon. Um. Yeah, that's fine. That's I an will annihilator f uh, four. Yep. So I'll do these two. I guess I. Um, I will do the um we'll do away with the reflector mage and uh and we'll do away with the night of autumn um and i'll take 10 okay um second main um i'm gonna sack this and get a forest or a plains mm -hmm. um let's see if i have something that taps for blue i was really hoping that i would get back my time stream navigator out of that swing but, yeah, I think he's know, purposely holding that for now. I think he is too. <laughs> Don't blame why. you. Don't blame yeah. you at all. Um, yeah, I'll get this. Um, Not the biggest Howl fan of extra turns. Hallowed Fountain. And it's it'll enter tapped. Three. Oh, no, okay. And um, that is my turn pass. Do you pay one for cracking uh, that one? 
pay sorry pay one um if i'm cracking the fetch win no never mind it's not it's, it's better you sack it and you just search all right well it just okay. happens to enter uh, end of your turn i'll pay five and uh the person's going to exile the fabro elder okay so it's exiled yes and it is when the card's exiled with profane i'll keep a counter on it to remind myself okay yeah i'll just put it down here in the yeah another exile area <laughs> you haven't put Some cards on top of exile. stuff to remind yeah ex stuff exile by something else and then i untap and draw okay uh plus domery for one of the mana and then What's the most plentiful colors I have? You, and then I need one white. Sisse returns. Doesn't have haste or any of the cool stuff, though. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. I can spare three for something. Uh, sure. I'll play a mountain. Uh, one, two, and three. Playing uh, Najila, Blade Blossom. Not oh, Raggy. She is one of the very few warriors in the deck. She's here oh, because boy. she's five colors. Um, well, not quite, but. Uh, are you done, Domri? The Pegs is still there, but I'm not quite worried about the Pegs. What is he just again? A 4 3 with trample? It's a uh, 5 4. 5 4 trample. Uh, yeah, I pass then. To me? Yes. Alrighty. Everybody's got cool stuff, I don't got much. Um, draw. I. I will. Um, I'll tap for a white. A white. Uh, a white. Blue and two mm -hmm. for a time wipe. Okay. Uh, I guess bouncing the archon. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, see, time wipe is destroyed, so it's gonna miss the Ulmog, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, then. Before that resolves, I'll use the man I, the white man I need from Scuttlemutt, pain five here. This is the aqueduct, so it's two. Use the pro procession, exile Ulamog. Okay. And then everything else is killed. Sisay all sent to the command zone. Time wipe is all, all permanents? Destroy all creatures. All creatures, okay. Oh, that's sad. There goes Gigantha. Bye bye, sweetie. In the graveyard you go. Graveyard for these three. Um, and then I will pass. Oh, it's got one's dead. There you go. Okay, I will untap. Um, now what? What did you exile Ulamog with? Is it the same thing you exiled? Uh, yeah, profane procession. Profane procession. Oh, so that allows you to cast them. If I hit, right. if I have if three, you have three of them. Ugh. Yeah. 
No bueno, man. That's Let me that's. Double check. It's. I need to pay something for it as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a card. I need to pay for, it, and then I can. No, I don't even cast it. Actually, I just put the creature onto the battlefield. Well, that's gross. Um. I don't get Ulamog's trigger if I ever got it to flip. I'll play a forest as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay three to cast a chromatic lantern. Okay. Um. That'll trigger a Sunbird's Invocation, so we'll reveal the top three, and I get something that costs three, and I get a Perplex. Um, those two go on the bottom, randomized. There's only two of them, so. It goes in my hand. Mm. I don't even know. All right. I'm gonna pay. I think I'm just gonna have to get Joe to back out. I don't see I think anything I mean, else. He's here to help the deck function. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, so I'll pay seven and cast Joda from the command zone and Swiftfoot boots. Yep. And since he's swift, I'm gonna swing him at the uh, planeswalker. That's fair. Down goes Domri. And, um, that's my turn. He did enough. Alright. I untap and draw. Okay. Well. Hmm. One, two, three. Uh, use the. Yeah, Aqueduct does 4 5. Poi and Sisse. She's here to hang out. I guess the heck we did that wrong. I play Survivor's Encampment. Uh, and that's it. Yes. Um. Draw. Um. Oh. Tap five. I'll play Tatiova Benthic Druid. Seems good. And that's all I can play. Are you passing? Yeah. Okay. I am going to untap. And uh, draw my card for turn. Uh, let's see. Interesting. I don't. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pay for perplexes. Um, Uh, what is it? Transmute cost. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to search my library for a Crosan Grip. And. Crosan, that destroys artifact enchantment. It destroys artifact or enchantment, right? I think. is that, And is that thing a land or is it an enchantment? Uh, the, it transforms into an enchantment now. So, enchantment in response now, to the yeah. fetch. That's what I want to and, do, is blow it up. Yeah. In response to the fetch, I'll pay five, use it to exile Tatyova. Ugh, gross. Profane command? Uh, per, yeah, profane procession. Um, I will respond. Uh, blue and a green. Sorry, a green and a white. I'll play an Eladrami's Call. And that does... Uh, I can search for a creature card, reveal it, put it into my hand. Okay. Okay. Uh... 
only for one mana. I don't know what the hell to get. <laughs> Any creature uh, that you can use to 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 uh, like a nimble obstructionist or something. He only has one mana though, so I can't do it. Uh, Siren Stormtamer needs to be out in the battlefield, I think. It's not even cast so ability. I'm like trying to think of what's in play and like. Yeah, if nothing else, you can fetch him for later. That will do better. Yeah, I, I were well, trying I to stop him from, uh, from getting, block. getting the Ulamog and the uh, the Faber. They do Elder. just go straight to battlefield though. I don't get casts, which is unfortunate. And I assume Ulamog goes away as soon as he shows up. Um. Well, I can at least get. I guess I'll get a dream trawler. Seems good. And then, yeah, Tatiova gets popped. Alright, frame procession is exiled three things. So, it transforms into, the, I believe it's called, yeah, Tomb of the Dusk Rose. And that gets you a copy of Yidris and, no, sorry, Fabro Elder and Ulamog. I, ca I cast them from exile. I play them from you exile. Play them from exile, yeah. And or I can just tap. I have to pay four mana, tap it, and I can p pick one of them and put them on the battlefield. Oh, I see. So you don't get them immediately. Yeah. Um. Kind of stockpiling. You can right. just tap for any color without using that ability. So it's basically five. Play one of the cards of exile, or just use it for mana. All right. I'm going it's to. Just, let's it's see. only a two-two now. Alright, so it's still my turn. Yes. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. What I have to do is cross and grip the um, Cross and grip the uh, the detention sphere that has time three navigator and uh, yeah. that's uh, one with Vanifar, right? Vanifar, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, grasp of fate. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's Vanifar. Uh, sorry, yeah, grasp of fate, and um, uh, so it stays back to four four. And then I'm gonna activate time three navigator. I think I can. Y'all you know, got so many lands that I have to be able to do it. I will. Uh, she has so many sickness. Uh, is it a, is it a tap ability? Oh, it is yep. a tap ability. Um, I have enough mana that I can actually just move the Swiftfoot boots onto her, and then do that. Right, do you want to use the one card you ha I know you have loot? What? I know of one mana card. I have a no I know of one mana card that's in your hand. Do you want to use that? For what? While the lightning greaves are moved. Um, or being moved. Uh, source of flash here, the time stream navigator. Okay. Well, so, is it does it move off of Jota then or not? It doesn't because he ha has no target. And then yeah. he goes into exile, and I gain you, some life. You gain one life. Yeah. Um. I haven't gone to combat yet, mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna swat at um, uh, dragon. In That's fair. He's four, right? Yep, four damage, four yep, commander four. damage. That's right. And I missed a trigger on Sunbird's invocation. I guess that's okay. I will pass. I don't no, know if it's really worth to trigger it for three, anyways. It was from is, is it a May? No, it's a have to. It doesn't change what's on the top of your deck, I guess. Um, I'm fine getting this trigger. I I don't care. Well, it's like you. May, it's a May that you cast it, but I have to reveal the top three cards in my library. Mm. So we'll do that. Just. 
Wouldn't hit anything anyway. No, not anything I want you guys to have. So, I'll put those on the bottom. All right. Sorry. And then my turn? Yep. All right. I untap. Let me t untap all my lands. Unlike a fool. And do it properly. There we go. Untap. Draw. Okay. Um, What to do here? So the board's still relatively cleared up. Dempster has Jota, but I don't quite care if you have Jota. Um, is Dream Trawler on the battlefield or in hand? Dream Trawler? Yeah. Oh. Uh, what did I, Domery's call it for it? The Eladri. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. in my hand. Okay. Like, I'm like, um, I don't remember casting that card. <laughs> Now I need to check something. John has seven on him, and Luke has. Oh, you can keep track of Sissy's commander damage. I know I have five. Right, I have. Five. Okay. I have eight or seven. Yeah, you, you have seven. I see that on yours. That's five. Okay. I will pay two and play the Black Blade Reforged. I will pay one, two, three, equip it to Sisse. I have ten lands. Sisse's naturally two, two, and she gets plus two from Vanifar being here. So she's all the way to 1414. One of us is going to die. Moving to combat. Swinging at John. Um. No response. Okay, that's another 14 commander. Um, I think that that means I'm dead. Yeah, that's that right at 21. 21. Gulp. Yep. Good luck, man. <laughs> My turn? Uh, oh, wait, no, when you go... Alright, so when you go, I'm, I'm going to lose the Ulamog. That's under exile because it's your card. It's too late. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gone. Late, I, right? I, seen, I, I seen remember that I don't have Ulamog as an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... I have your Ulamog, or I only have the, um... Tatyova. Okay, uh... Which is not really all that helpful to me. So then... See, I have one, two, three, four, five, six left over. Oh, yeah, so. Do I have. Yeah, I can Wooberg. And play Nib is it Reborn. So nice. I enter Battlefield, I revealed top ten. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roscoe's a valid target, and then uh, does is Smoot uh Gruel or Naya? How uh, it can't right get three colors. Or yeah, no, so no, I think it can. Uh, no, Nimbus it can. He, he they have to be exactly two colors, and it has to be one okay. of each. So some boots on oh. three that she is? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I just get Frosca. Rest, go to the bottom, random order. Uh, that's, that's, wait, where's this? There she is. Whoops. Then, uh, who do I have that cost six? Sure. I will use Von Vanifar. Sacrificing Niv Mizzet. And I'm going to search for a creature with command cost 6. 
is a Victus Asmati the Dire. I don't think I can win, so I'm just going to scoop. <laughs> okay. Well, good game, you guys. Good game. My, uh, if you didn't, well, you didn't really see much of the theme, but mine's supposed to be an enchantment deck. Yeah, I noticed like, there's a lot of enchantments for a Chewing deck, so that was interesting. It's because yeah, it's Chewing enchantments. That's cool. Interesting. Yeah, that that mm -hmm. is that is way different than what I was expecting to see. I almost forgot you were playing Chulane. Because, yeah. Because it was totally more like an Azorius deck. Sorry about that That's kill cool. shot. I, I top decked the Black Blade. Oh, it's fine. No big deal. It's just, I mean, the game has to end at some point, and It does, like, but no. I, always, I always feel dirty with the Black Blade, because like, it's just such a it's oh, just such a he's damaging gone. shot. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I'm, I have a, a deck that has a black blade in it. And honestly, like, one of the lines of play that used to exist in this game, or in, not in this game, in this particular deck, was a, um, uh, and I wish I still had the card, but I traded it, the um, Eldrazi Conscription. Ooh, and so yeah. I had Eldrazi Conscription, and I, um, I used to play a lot of the split cards in it. And like Gisela and stuff, so I would actually ah. use a bunch of really hefty cards to beef up Joda and kill people with Joda, and it'd be like a, a a cheap or free Eldrazi conscription with Gisela doubling damage and swing. <laughs> people would just be like, "Okay, I didn't see that coming, but <laughs> good game." Yeah, my backup. If I if I had drawn the black white, I think I would just cast Primeval Glorious Rebirth. Mm -hmm. Just get my graveyard essentially. Yeah. There was a turn where I was thinking to myself, like, well, a lot of my lines of play have hit the graveyard now, and probably the only thing left to do is try and win with commander damage. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was a good game, man. Thanks. Yeah, it was fun. Very very fun decks. Like, they yeah. all did scary things at a certain point. It was fun. Right. Yeah. All right. I, I also, I'm thinking that maybe Golos is just better than Joda is, if I'm going to continue running Giganta. Because you Maybe. get more. Oh, no. It takes so long to set up that you might get more out of Giganta on Golos. Well, yeah, you can use Giganta to pay for. Yeah, the you can use Giganta to pay the Bluebird. I think it's like because Joda. Well, it's a matter of do you trust what's on top of your deck more than what's in your hand? Yeah. Usually, that's there's a lot of there's a lot of scary stuff in here. I, if that uh, Time Stream Navigator had hit, that would have been a lot scarier. Yeah, so Time Stream Navigator was what I slotted in when I took out Nexus of Fate. Because Time Stream Navigator is like the only way. I was like, okay, this is sort of similar effect. It's slower, but it, it still goes back into the library. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there used yeah. to be this line of play that was like Razaketh and uh, the Samurn or Convergence and Time Stream and then Nexus of Fate. <laughs> it did, like, all of that. Or Emrakul and Tidespread Tyrant was, is another one that yeah. was in here. I took Emrakul out um, for this, specifically for this weekend because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna gonna make somebody on camera, like, play Yeah, that's me a whole bunch of stuff I've, going on I've with that. I've done it with a friend before and they were not they were not particularly pleased. So, it's just not easy to resolve. All right, man. I'll see you later. Good game. Yeah, see you later. It was good. And yeah. I'll try and record the stats. I think. I yeah. Need to do that. Yeah. You have to. I don't. I think you message it to the bot. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the what the, the message bot got me and remember how to do that. Let's see your result. Uh, game ID. What is our game ID? Uh, never mind. I just read it right further. It tells me. Of the URL after the game. Yep. Yep. Okay, so result. Okay, blah, wait. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, wait. We have was... to know what people's points were. Aren't. So we were at power level six. Yeah, we're at power level six. Let's. Uh, here are the active bonus for our game. Play points. I I played a planeswalker. Uh. He searched the library for non land. I did too. You did. We all did that. Yep. Yeah. I did the so only at 14. identity thing. Uh, we all did that. I didn't make a creature token, did I? And neither did I. Yeah, a lot of times this deck does. A lot of the planeswalkers in here. Part of the what makes it, how, how it helps make cut is can they protect themselves? Yeah. 
Okay, uh, so I, I know you're seeing talk. What was his? Do we know? Hit, what was his what? Uh, oh, his, his, on Discord. Uh, his username? Oh, I have no idea. He was. He changed his name in here. I forgot what it was. I wish that it would, like, just in the chat room, in the bot, yeah. tell you who the players you're paired with are. Uh, can you rewind uh, your stream and see, like, if yeah, the name that he put in the Yeah, let me, let me end the stream here. We actually still have a...